problem, we're given a function k of x as a table. So with this table, if you look at the way it's written, we have the letter x here, which indicates this top row is my input variable, right? Whatever is in the parentheses is defined to be the input variable, and there it is. So that would make my output variable k of x. So these are my outputs here. So we are to find k of 3 and write our answer in both function notation and as an ordered pair. So the idea is that the function in general is called k of x, and they are asking me to find k of 3. So when you line things up here, they're actually saying that x is 3, and this is often misread as that k of x is 3, but it's not. If we wanted you to solve that problem, it would look like this. We would say k of x is 3, and that's not the question here. This is saying find k of 3, which means it's actually the input variable that's 3. So where in the chart do you see an input of 3? Well, you go to your input row and you identify that there's an input of 3 right there. So ignore this 3 over here. That 3 is a output of 3. I want an input of 3. So simply, if you input 3, the output is 5. So input of 3, get an output of 5. And in function notation, we would say k of 3 is 5. Again, k of input equals output. In fact, let me put that up here so that we can kind of have that so I can point at it. So notice my input is 3 and my output was 5. But it also says to write my answer as an ordered pair. And as an ordered pair, the notation is input comma output with parentheses around it and that denotes a point. So for my problem, again, my input was 3, my output was 5, so that's going to look like 3 comma 5 with a set of parentheses. The next part says find x, so uh, we don't know x. This time we're trying to find the x value, so we're looking for which one of these guys up here gives me an output of 17. Remember that k of input equals output, so if I line the question up with this, it's telling me clearly that it's the output variable k of x that's 17. Another way to look at it is they're saying it right here that k of x, that whole thing is 17. Well, this is k of x. This is what represents my output. So there's two 17s in the chart, but I don't want that one. That's the 17 that appears as an input. I want the 17 that appears as an output. We want k of x to be 17. That's this area here. The only way k of x is going to be 17 is if we input the number 2. So the idea is if you input 2, you would get an output of 17. So there's a number of different ways you can write that. You could say in function notation that the input is 2, gives you an output of 17, and that would look like this. So that would be k of 2 equals 17. And another way to look at it is since the x value here is 2 now, that we actually found the x. The answer to the question is x equals 2. It's just in function notation, when you replace x with 2, it looks like this. k of 2 is 17. Then moving on to the ordered pair, again, it's input come output. My input was 2, and my output here was 17. So that's what it looks like as an ordered pair. The last thing says determine the domain and range, and this is actually quite simple when you have a finite number of elements in your domain and range. And I kind of marked this up so you can barely see, so that wasn't really wise of me. But the domain is just a set of numbers, and we list that set of numbers in no particular order, but some people like to order it from smallest to biggest. But mathematically, you can label the set in any order you want, and the domain is just the set of inputs, say negative 1. So when you list the elements in your domain, the set of all possible x values, you should put commas between them. Negative 1, comma 2, comma 3, etc., 8, and 17. And we have one more thing that we like to do is we like to use set notation. And set notation has you putting this in these, some people call these braces. I've heard a lot of people call them curly brackets. But whatever you call them, they look like this. So my domain is just those five numbers and those five numbers only. And the range would be very similar. You'd put these curly braces here and you just list the five elements in your range. And the range would be your set of outputs. So this is my domain was my set of inputs, x. And my range would be my set of all possible outputs. But there's only five possible outputs here. There's three 
there's 17, there's 5, and there's 0. So in mathematics with a set, you can list them in any order you want, but you may want to put it in ascending order. So you'd want to put your 0 first, then your 3, then your 5, and then your 17, and then your 62.